people. Let's go. Yo, what up, everybody? Cardboard Moses with you. Welcome. Hope everyone's having a great hump day. It's Wednesday, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, it is time to do 2018 Classics Football. Five box break number 13. Dude, Alan, when, if I ever make it out to Philly, dog, I'm definitely going to have to check that out. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest. The, the, the clubbing is really not my scene. I'm more of a bar lounge type. If I go to a club, I would have to be already hammered once I get to the club. Because that's the only way I'm going to dance. I'm a dancing fool when I am uh, under the influence of the, of the liquid courage. Alright, anyway, we're doing five boxes of this classic football business. Uh, I do have a full caser of this on our website, ripcitycards.com. Check it out, y'all. I still have about 17 teams left. It's a 10 box case. So uh, do the math. You get double the opportunities of possibly getting a hit. So uh, so check out our website, ripcitycards.com. Not to mention, if you've never made a website purchase, you save $15 on your first purchase. All you have to do is register for an account, ripcitycards.com, and we will email you that $15 discount code. It does require a minimum purchase of 25 bucks. But, like I said, you do save $15. You can only use that code on our website. Sorry, eBay. But like I said, it's a full case, baby. Not to mention, you get into our daily giveaways, our weekly giveaways, and our monthly giveaways just by buying in. Simple as that. Our daily giveaway of a $100 break credit, all you got to do is make a purchase from 12 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on our website. And uh, you could potentially win up to $100 in break credit. That's a good deal right there. Uh, so after this, we have 2015-16 Prism Basketball number one. After that, we have Essentials Basketball number five. Uh, Essentials number six, Optic Basketball number 20, and Platinum Baseball number one. Those three breaks will take place at midnight. All right. But uh, let's start off with some classics here. Big Greg needs some bucks and Rams love. And Big Greg, I don't know how many times I got to tell you, bruh. I need names, man. I need specifics. I need you to tell me names. You know, because the team, that, that's easy. You know, I'll pull a card and be like, oh, look, here's a buck. Here's a Ram. My job is done. No. I need you to be specific. The more specific you are, the better it is. You know, the, the better it is. That way, when I actually hit the card, one, I look like a genius. And two, you're super happy. To win win. So you are telling me about this place called Club Pearl. And uh, what is it? North Miami Beach? It's more of a restaurant slash club. I might have to go out there one of these days. Big Greg wants a Warren Sapp autograph. I'm assuming, right? Joe wants a combo Raider auto. I mean, you could be more specific than that, but okay. You know, I'm trying to be like, yo, Uncle Jesse, let me get that Saquon Barkley 101, dog. And I'm going to be like, okay. I mean, I'm going to say yes every time. Freak of nature, that's where you're at, North Miami Beach. I'm going to go hit up that Club Pearl. Looking for that Russian mail order bride. Columbia plays on Sunday. Oh boy. We gotta we have to win. We cannot lose anymore. We can't even tie. We have to win. But anyway, that's the other football. Let's uh, see what's in this football. Good luck, everybody. All right, so Keyshawn Bieria, rookie card. A composer insert for Joey Flacco, 299 Ravens. Oh, yeah, dude, Club Pearl is probably a very cool place to watch the, uh, the, the World Cup. 
Deontay Burnett rookie. What I love about the World Cup is people that don't even watch soccer are starting to get into it. I can only imagine if uh, the USA actually made the World Cup even better, man. Russell Wilson Chrome for the Seahawks. Got this classic clash. Got a bear and a Bronco on there. So we got to random that at the end of the break. Uh, Billy Price rookie. Miles Garrett to 299 for the Browns. Well, Alan, I'll be honest with you. They don't look the greatest in person. Well, I mean, like, in the camera. But in person, they're really nice cards, man. They got an old school vibe to them. But like a new school look, if that makes any sense. I, I dig it, Alan. If you're in this break, when you actually get the cards, you're going to come back and be like, you know what? I owe you, I owe you a Russian or three because these are some nice cards. And I'm going to be like, I told you so. Anyway, Mason Rudolph, rookie. You know, the camera does not do this justice, but they are real nice looking cards. Mike Evans, the refractor for the books. That's number to 175. It's like uh, Big Greg says, you know, it's it's classics. It's supposed to look this way. That classic vibe, you dig? Make of it's Patrick Rookie for the Dolphins. We have Jester Way, a rookie. Got a rookie chrome for Mason Rudolph. I believe he is a stealer. Rashawn Evans, rookie. Let me move this up a tad. It's been a weird, a weird World Cup, Jimbo, hasn't it? Like, with the exception of maybe Belgium and Russia, no team has been, like, dominant. Richard Sherman to 299 Seahawks, which is great for competition. Kalen Ballard's rookie, he goes to the Dolphins. Yeah, I know my Dolphins rookies and a few other players here and there, but that's about it. Jordan Thomas, the 99 rookie card. Mexico doing pretty well. But yeah, dude, it's like you say, a lot of results raising eyebrows. Michael Gallup, rookie. It's been a pretty, pretty wild World Cup so far. Mexico has a big challenge ahead. I want to see how they respond coming off that victory against Germany. If they lose their next match, I don't want to say they're in trouble. But they're kind of in trouble. Von Miller, Broncos patch. Like, you can't beat Germany and then lose the next game. You have to win out. So, curious to see how they respond. Well, the thing with, you know, I kind of expected Russia. You know, they probably paid the referees off, you know. You know how FIFA does. Alvin Kamara sticker for the Saints. Leonard Fournette to 299 for the Jaguars. The only thing I don't like about the uh, the the new video review is it slows the game down. That aside, I think it's great. Uh, we have Carlton Davis rookie. Joe, you never say never, dog. You know I never thought in a million years Colombia would lose to to Japan. And we did. And no disrespect to Mexico, but I think Colombia is slightly better than Mexico. And Germany way better than Japan. So you never know, man. You, you really can't underestimate anybody. It's the World Cup, dog. They're there for a reason. Right, Charlie Taylor? Two out of seven. Legendary autograph for the Redskins. That's nice. Saquon Barkley rookie. An auto of his would be pretty sick. I've hit pretty much all the big rookies with the exception of the Saquon in this set. Bill Bates to 299. Cowboys. Mark Andrews rookie.
What do we have here? I can't wait for this football to start up too, man. Cowboys sticker. I want to see how the Dolphins are going to disappoint me this year. Lowell Lotulele, rookie. More so excited to see the Hurricanes play, man. Well, that was different. I, I mean in this set, Alan. Charlie Taylor, Chrome, Redskins. Lamar Jackson, rookie. I hit his autograph last night. Draft day signature, gold ink no less. In a break of luminance football, which I have a full case on the website right now. RipCityCards.com. Hoping to get that filled tonight. What it do, Wolfie? How are you, sir? Feeling good, feeling great. Feeling great, feeling good. How are you? I, you know, Joe, I'm going to have to agree with you. I think Peckerman, while he's done great for us, if we have a dis if we don't at, ve at the very least make it to like the elimination round or something, uh, I, I think it's time for Peckerman to go. I agree. I, I think we have way too much talent. Uh, Peckerman is an Argentine. You know, we need some Colombian b uh, blood in there. You know what I mean? What's up, Salt? How are you? Yeah, Big Greg, I was talking about that, I think, yesterday or a day or two. Uh, Julio Jones and uh, I guess he's training with Tara Owens. Tara Owens, a 44-year-old, that that dude's still running a 4-4, 4, 4, 4 5, 40? That's ridiculous. Now, of course, I'm not saying that's not impressive. That's impressive, but can you do that with full pads on? And a DB riding you the entire way? Probably not. Excuse me. But I do agree. I think Columbia does need a new coach. I like Peckerman, you know, but I, I don't like the way he handled the first game. You know, taking Cuadrado out of the game at the... It, it, at the first half, putting James Rodriguez in with 30 minutes left, like, just, uh, Izquierdo in the starting lineup, like, seriously, like, I, I don't know, man, I don't know, anyway, one thing I do know is, uh, we have a Simi Cobbs, a junior, autographed to 49, rookie auto, right there, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna need to pull up the checklist, cause, uh, for the recap, You know, they should have had Carlos Baca in there instead of, uh, instead of Izquierdo. You know, we're still, we're missing a couple other good players, man. Jackson Martinez out with an injury, I believe. Uh, he's actually, he's kind of old too, but he's still pretty good. Uh, I really thought we would coast through it, but I'm, I'm glad that we lost, honestly. It's a nice kick in the butt so we can get it together. We'll see how we respond. If we don't respond well, like if we don't even make it to the elimination round, if we can't get past the group stage, heads are going to roll. Josh Allen, rookie. For the Bills. This World Cup has been interesting, to say the least. Alvin Kamara, sticker for the Saints. Ian Thomas, rookie. Kareem Hunt. Chrome for the Chiefs. Quadri Henderson, rookie. How you doing, Wolfie? Hope you're having a great day, my man. For the Bills, Thurman Thomas, the patch. We have Kurt Benkert, rookie. Uh, Australia plays Denmark. At what time? Relative to you. And then I'll figure it out on my end. Number to 99. The new era. 
Insert LT and Melvin Gordon. Classic clash to random. Derwin James rookie at 10 p.m. Australian time, which is how how long from now, Jimbo? Brian Dawkins Chrome Eagles. Darren Carrington, the second rookie. Jaleel Scott, rookie to 25. Same time as Columbia the other night. So what, 7, 8 in the morning? Yeah, I'm not doing that again. I saw when Columbia plays. Uh, our next game Sunday's at 2 o'clock. So I don't have to stay up for that. And then after that, we play at 10 in the morning, which is not too bad. Roquan Smith, rookie. What's up, Fabrice? Bonjour, mon ami. Bryce Bobo, number to 50. Rookie. Troy Fumagalli, rookie. What is this? Ooh, that's a one on one. Nice. Tony Gonzalez of the Chiefs. Chiefs. There you go. Timeless tribute. One of one mojo. That's a good card. That's a good card. Arguably the greatest tight end in NFL history. With a little one on one mojo. Very nice. Who does France play tomorrow, uh, Fabrice? Best tight end ever? I don't know. I think Gronkowski is going to have something to say about that when it's all said and done. Javon Wims, rookie. You know, people, oh, then Antonio Gates, another great tight end, still playing. They play Peru. That's going to be a tough one, France against Peru. Although I do think uh, France has way too much quality on that side to lose. But you never know, man. This World Cup has been weird. James Washington, rookie. That's how you spell Peru in France? That's cool. Darius Geis, rookie. Chrome. Azim Victor, rookie. You think so, Big I don't know, Big Greg. I mean, have you seen his records, dude? Given all that that you just said, I mean, he's still like, I want to say he's a top, he has top five records so far in his career as far as tight ends. Uh, Zim Victor, rookie to 299. Baker Mayfield, rookie. Ray Lewis to 299. Greatest linebacker ever for the Ravens. And uh, he went to Miami to college. Just saying. Corlin Sutton, rookie. And I can't I cannot wait for college football. I already know the Dolphins are gonna disappoint me like they always do, but I have renewed hope in the Hurricanes. Mike Evans to 299, Buccaneers. Royce Freeman, rookie. Alrighty. Still got three boxes to go. By the way, you know, I'm talking a lot of soccer. I got another soccer full case in the store, y'all. World Cup Prism Soccer 12 box full caser. Get your teams. I also have a full case of this on the website, too, y'all. Don't believe me? Check it out. Ripcitycards.com. Right there, you see that? Got look, look, check out, check it out. Got 17 teams left. It's a full case of classics of uh, football. These are the remaining teams. Buy your team and it's yours. All you gotta do is wait for it to fill, and then we break it. Simple as that. So get your teams on our website, peeps. You guys still have about 25 minutes to make a purchase on our website, and you'll be eligible 
for our daily hundred dollar break credit giveaway. So get while the getting is good. Salt Hill, are you a Dolphins fan? Cause I'll tell you right now, for like the past, like the la last season, we had a top ten defense. The problem was we just our defense was on the field the entire time. You know, there's what is it like uh, twelve minute quarter? I forgot how long football is. It's like a, let's say I think what is it fifteen minute quarters? Man, it's been it's been a while. Forgot already. But anyway. We have a great defense. Great defense. But I do not like Tannehill. Tannehill to me is garbage. He cannot make the throw when he needs to. We yeah, we have no choice but to roll with Tannehill this year. Uh, I do like the picks we had. You know, Mike Gesicki, I think, is going to be a baller. He does need a little work on, on his blocking. Uh, but, you know, you can coach that up. You can't coach his freaky athleticism. That guy can catch anything. So uh, I like that pickup. I also like the pickup of Kalen Ballage in the draft. That guy, I think, is going to be a sleeper. Uh, and I love the the first-round pick, Minka Fitzpatrick. Uh you know, he, he has championship uh, pedigree. You know, Nick Saban Jr., uh, I think he's going to be a leader in that locker room, possibly a little culture change, uh, which we've already been doing. You know, we, we've gotten rid of a few problem children, and Dominic and Sue, Jarvis Landry, no longer gone. I don't know if you guys saw, but there was an interview with Jarvis Landry, uh, and he pretty much, he, he didn't really badmouth Tannehill, but they asked Jarvis Landry what his relationship was with Tannehill, he says they didn't have a relationship. And I don't know, man. You know, he, he could have handled that a little bit better. I felt like he could have just been like, you know what? I don't want to speak on that. I'm no longer a Dolphin. Let's talk about the Browns. But instead, he decided to take some shots at the Dolphins. I wasn't really cool with that. Uh, same thing with Jay Ajayi. Both of them no longer with us. So there's a reason why they're not with us. You know, I, I do like the culture change we're doing. It's going to take some time. Uh, but with that being said, I am not a fan of Tannehill. This is going to be a make-or-break season for him. If he can stay healthy and, you know, get us back into the playoffs, all right, cool. If not, we got to cut ties, man. We got to cut ties with that guy and keep him moving. Lola Tulele, rookie tonight. Yeah, so it's, it's that and a whole bunch of other stuff. You know, Tannehill is better than Cutler, but I, you know, I, I could throw a pretty good spiral myself. Big Greg, you ain't lying. Uh, Lamar Jackson, rookie for the Ravens. Dan Marino to two ninety nine. Dolphins. We've been cursed ever since this guy left. I felt we should have drafted Lamar Jackson, man. I don't know if you guys are watching like OTAs or anything like that, the NFL Network, but everything coming out of the Ravens camp is Lamar Jackson, Michael Vick 2.0. That's scary. Kalen Ballard, rookie, going to the Dolphins. We shall see. We shall see what the Dolphins do this season. Uh, Keyshawn Bieria, rookie to 49. I think Jarvis Landry was more pissed off that he got paid, but he got traded to Cleveland. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. We have probably the worst front office in the entire National Football League. I've said it from for as long as I've been streaming. Even before that, I've been saying it in my personal life. Dolphins have the worst front office in the entire National Football League. Mike Tannenbaum is a bum. We have the worst owner in sports. It's a it's a hot mess. It's a hot mess. You know, so that's why I'm trying to get my paper stacks up. And hopefully, like in another 20, 30 years, I have enough money saved up so I could just straight up buy the Dolphins 
and then I'm running operations, and we're back to Super Bowl champions, babe. Uh, and then I woke up. Anyway, Michael Gallup, rookie. Dude, I wonder how much money I need. I probably need, like, billions, right, to buy the Dolphins? I feel like it's a good investment. I feel like I'll make my money back at some point. Plus, I own the Dolphins, yo. Anyway, Darius Guys, rookie to 50, Redskins. It's nice to dream. It's nice to dream. Carlton Davis, rookie. Well, Allen, I mean, yes and no. The Heat are almost always a good, solid, competitive team. Uh, I, I think you forget that uh, like four years ago, we were the hottest ticket in all of sports with LeBron James down here. Uh, jet sticker there. Um, I don't want to talk about the Marlins. And the Dolphins have, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's going it's to be a while. Saquon Barkley, rookie to the Giants. $2 billion to buy the Dolphins? <laughs> Done deal. I just need to invent something. Like, maybe if I found a way to charge people to breathe, you know? That's, you know, we charge people to drink water. If, if, we, if I could figure out a way to charge people to breathe, that'd be, you know, I'd get paid. Mika Fitzpatrick, rookie. Yeah, we don't talk about the Marlins for Brees. We we do not talk. We don't talk about the Marlins for at least another two three years. That we just don't talk about them. All right. Jimmy G. Chrome for the uh, Niners. Mark Andrews rookie. Riley Ferguson rookie to two ninety nine. Luke Falk, rookie. Exactly, Allen. Well, well, no, not whoa, not exactly. Uncle Jesse, what are you talking about? Mm, I mean, yeah, I guess you know that would just be <laughs> that would just be a uh, a cause and effect deal there. Yeah. We have uh, Mike Singletary patch for the Dub Bears. Jester Way a rookie. You guys ever think about that though? Like seriously, the fact that you have to pay for water? Like, does that not blow anybody else's mind? Is that just me? Emmanuel Sanders to 299 Broncos. Buy five million dollars worth of water, hold it for 20 years, and then you know when the water shortage comes around. Balling. I like quadruple can top of my investment. Rashawn Evans rookie. Yeah, dude, have you seen have you seen like how the Chinese live, man? It's like it's crazy, bro. Dick Buckus, Chrome for the Bears. Keyshawn Bieria, rookie. Number five out of five, rookie card for Mark Andrews. Decent. Or maybe I should just join the Space Force. <laughs> <laughs> Deontay Burnett rookie. Have you guys heard about that? The Space Force. I'm about to. I'm about to. I'm about to be a Power Ranger, y'all. Got a refractor for Derek Carr of the Raiders, number to 175. Interested to see what the Raiders do this season too. Now that they got their uh, their old head coach back, Billy Price rookie. Thank God for the World Cup. If it wasn't for the World Cup, like, what would I be watching right now? Baseball? <laughs> That's a little joke. Uh, Steelers patch. I mean, sticker. Mason Rudolph, rookie. I'll make up it's Patrick, Chrome rookie. That was the third box. On to box number four.
Uh, yo, you know what? I said it a while ago. I think the Eagles are set to be the new dynasty in football. I, I feel like the Patriots may have like another, you know, another two, three years of Tom Brady dominance. But eventually, Father Time's going to catch up with him. There's some weirdness going on out there in New England between Belichick, Robert Kraft, and Tom Brady. Don't know what that's about. Frankly, could care less. Um, but I, I do think the Eagles are probably going to repeat as Super Bowl champions. Way too much talent. And Doug Peterson is like Bill Belichick with a personality. Yo, I, I, I agree, Big Greg. They got Jordy Nelson out there with Derek Carr, Amari Cooper. You know, their, their running game leaves a little bit to be desired. Uh, this is going to be a big test for Derek Carr, man. You know, Derek Carr got hurt a couple seasons ago, so, you know, that, that hurt their chances. Uh, took a couple steps backwards last year. So this year is going to be a big year for Derek Carr. We're going to see if he truly is a, a franchise quarterback in this league. There you go, freaking nature. Get that entry for the 5 o'clock giveaway, dog. You know, the Eagles do have good problems. You know, they, they, they still got Carson Wentz. And they have that insurance policy in, uh, in, in Nikki Foles. Good problems to have. Good problems to have. All right, what do we have here? Got a sticker for the Cowboys. Roquan Smith, Bears rookie. David Johnson, Chrome for the Cardinals. Azim Victor, rookie. Kirk Cousins, Chrome for the Redskins. Malik Jefferson rookie. Raiders champion soon. Is is that before they move to Las Vegas? Fred Warner, rookie to 299. What happens first? The Raiders are Super Bowl champions or they move to Las Vegas? That's gonna be such a weird move. Although I think we've seen with the Vegas Knights uh in hockey this past season, Vegas is gonna be a great sports town, I think. Lorenzo Carter, rookie. We got Demarius Thomas, number 5 out of 10. Bronco autograph. You know, you got to play like that against uh, against New England, Allen. Uh, I, I guarantee Doug Peterson was watching tape of Miami. Because when we play Tom Brady, Tom Brady has come out and said it in, in past interviews before. The team he hates to play the most is the Miami Dolphins, especially in Miami. For some reason, he just plays like crap in Miami, and against like we play him tough. We play him tough. It's 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 simple. I mean, it, it's simple, but it's hard to do against New England. Don't make mistakes. Run the ball. Uh, hit Tom Brady often, early, all the time. Pressure him constantly all game, and you have a good chance to beat the Patriots. Did he say why? For, for the reasons I just explained. Akram Wale, rookie. Dad and he's probably hung over, uh, you know, living that Miami lifestyle. But, I mean, look it up. He's, he's said it in interviews before. He hates playing the, the Dolphins, especially in Miami. Like, we, we kind of low-key just have his number. In Miami, anyway. We can't beat him in Foxborough, but in Miami, we whip that ass. Mark Andrews to 299 rookie. That's exactly salt. That's the only way to beat Brady. Is you keep constant pressure on him. 
and his little twinkle toes will get to him, and he's gonna he 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 does not handle pressure well. I mean, I know that's crazy to say, but he really does not handle pressure well. If you hit him early and often, he gets rattled. Early in his career, you didn't really see that because the Patriots just had great defenses. But now that he's like a strictly offensive force, you can see it. Jet sticker. Tarvaris McFadden rookie. It's easier said than done. But that's how you beat Brady and the Patriots. Hit him in the mouth. Deontay Burnett. Rookie. Chrome. Riley Ferguson rookie. With that being said, I think the Patriots will probably make it back to the Super Bowl this year. James Washington rookie gold. Number to 65. Anthony Miller, rookie. I'm surprised there's no Patriots fans in here, you know, sticking up for him. Probably too busy counting their rings or something. Anna Lazard, rookie, to 99. Or, you know, stealing play calls and stuff. You know how they do. James Washington, rookie. But every team does it. Yeah, but y'all got caught. Bill Bates, the 299 Cowboys. Right, Salt Hill. Although I'll be honest, I'm not. I I I I, I, I am not too worried because quarterbacks out of USC historically just do not pan out. Name me name me the last USC quarterback not named Carson Palmer that had a a successful career in the NFL. And Carson Palmer wasn't even all that successful. Javon Wims, rookie. Brady's going to play till he's 45. I mean, he could, barring like a disgusting injury. I think he could. Thurman Thomas, 1099 Bills. Plus, all Brady does is, is Shotgun formation the entire time. I think he could play to a 45. Uh, Baker Mayfield rookie. The next big quarterback is Ryan Tannehill. <laughs> I, I, I can't even say that with a straight face. Oh, look at the man right there. Ryan Tannehill. We have Jared Goff. He could be the next big thing for the Rams. He had a great season last year. Got to follow it up this year, big guy. I think Carson Wentz is big time, too. A lot of good young talent, man. Ronnie Harrison, rookie. People not talking about him, but Ben Roethlisberger is still in the league, and he lit it up last year. Six out of ten. Jason Witten, Cowboys. You know, out there in Los Angeles. I think they're in Los Angeles. The Chargers. Phillip Rivers, yeah, I know he's old, but he's still really good. Deshaun Hamilton, rookie. I hope Watson comes back healthy. He was having an insane rookie year up till he got hurt. You think, uh, you guys think Jimmy G is going to be... Big time. I'm going to be honest. I don't think so. Right. Drew Brees still playing. Matt Ryan, the richest quarterback right now. Russell Wilson still in the league. There's a lot of really good quarterbacks. I don't think Jimmy G is going to be one of them, though. I didn't see any Niners games, so... Uh, I'm just giving my opinion here as a New England Patriots hater.
Who do you guys think is going to be the most successful rookie quarterback of this class? We got Baker Mayfield, Sam Darnold, Josh uh, Rosen, Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, Aaron Rodgers, of course, still probably the best quarterback pound for pound in the league. But of this rookie class, I think Lamar Jackson is going to be Michael Vick 2.0. I, I really do, man. I, I really think Lamar Jackson is going to be lights out. I think Rosen is going to be a huge bust. Uh, Josh Allen is not accurate at all. Can throw the ball a mile. But you got to hit the target player, pimp. And Sam Darnold went to USC. Enough said. USC quarterbacks are just not good. In the league, anyway. But who knows? We shall see. All right. Last box mojo. Good luck, everybody. Uh, got a Niner sticker. Alan Lazard rookie. Saquon Barkley. Rookie Chrome. Nah, Allen. I don't think so, man. I don't think so. If anything, he has him to look at and be like, okay, don't do that. RG3 would still be a great quarterback had he not, like, tried to play through injury. That's, that's in my opinion, what killed his career. Was trying to be the tough guy, playing through injury, just, just destroyed him. In my opinion, uh, Denzel Ward rookie. I think, I, dude, I really think Lamar Jackson is going to be Michael Vick 2.0. I really do. Dan Marino patch for the Dolphins. Better yet, I think he's going to be like the Michael Vick version when he played for the Eagles. You know, staying in the pocket, throwing the ball. And running when he has to. If Michael Vick had done that when he was with the Falcons early in his career, who knows? Michael Vick could have probably gone down as the greatest of all time. Who knows? Mike White, rookie. Cam Newton still in the league. Man, there's a lot of talent still in the league. Josh Allen equals Rex Grossman. That's kind of accurate, actually. Rex Grossman was great in college. Got to the pros and, yeah. DeAndre Hopkins, number 50. He's probably the best wide receiver in the, in the league. With Deshaun Watson. Oh, boy. Ogbonia Okoronkwo, rookie. What about Teddy Bridgewater? You, th you guys think that uh, Teddy Bridgewater going to get any playing? I think he plays for the Jets. I hope he gets some playing time. I really like Teddy Bridgewater before he went down with that nasty injury a couple seasons ago. Carson Wentz to 299 for the Eagles, trying to be the GOAT. Mahomes is going to be interesting to see. Uh, the Biscuit as well. He needs some receivers, though. Chicago desperately needs some receivers to, to go along with the Biscuit. Steve Ishmael, rookie. Well, Allen, I don't think I don't think Lamar Jackson is gonna play like his rookie year. He's definitely gonna bulk up, man. Jordan Lasley, rookie auto to ninety nine. Teddy B having a good uh, camp. Good to hear, man. I was I was hoping, dude, because you know I really wanted the Dolphins to make a move either for Teddy Bridgewater. Or for Kirk Cousins. Uh, dude, if Kirk Cousins ended up with the Dolphins, that would have been huge. Tremaine Edmonds, rookie. Later. Later. See, I, I, see, Dak Prescott. I like Dak Prescott. Not a fan of Bortles, though. Bortles, to me, is way too inconsistent. If you know, Luckily for him, he has a top five defense. Otherwise, all, all of his shortcomings would have been evident. Deontay Burnett to 299 rookie. He did have a really good season last year, though. I will say that. 
Dak Prescott desperately needs to bounce back this year because last year he was not good. Although there's a lot to go into that. But anyway, Dorian O'Daniel, rookie. Jason Witten retired this year, so interesting to see how the Cowboys are going to be without their uh, sure-handed Hall of Fame tight end. Dallas Goddard, rookie. Chris Dolman to 299 Vikings. Jalen Samuels, rookie. John Elway for the Broncos, number to 175. Well, you know what they say about quarterbacks, man. Their best friend is a, a great running back. So when you know when when Zeke went out, Dak was probably destined to fail. You know Zeke, huge part of that offense. Ronald Jones, rookie. So we'll see what happens this year. Both of them coming back. We shall see. We shall see. I really want to see how that Vander Aish pick uh, pans out for him. I don't think that was a good pick for him at all. Broncos uh, sticker, but what do I know? DJ Moore, rookie. And I can't wait for football, man. Corlin Sutton, rookie. Chrome. Bryce Bobo, rookie. Larry Allen to 99, Cowboys. Oh yeah, freak of nature. We're gonna we're gonna do fantasy football again this year. Uh, just not nearly as many teams as we did last year. Fred Warner, rookie. We have a composer insert to ninety nine for Mr. Warren Moon of the Oilers, who, if I'm not mistaken, are the Titans. Mike Gesicki, rookie for the Dolphins. I hope he turns out to be big time. Tannehill needs that tight end. Carson Wentz, Chrome for the Eagles. And the Chargers era card. And that's going to do it for the break. Now, uh, I am going to recap it here. going to recap the parallels, the patches and whatnot. Let me get organized here a little bit. I also need to random these classic uh, clashes cards. But uh, let me uh, separate these parallels here. For the recap. here that I top loaded at that 101 that's pretty sick to five this is 65 this is 10 all right boom boom all right before I recap it we have to do a little bit of a random here got to random these classic clashes as you can see I got a team on the left and on the right so we're going to random this thing. Super simple for me. I'm going to roll the die. If I get an odd number, it goes to the left side team. If I get an even number, it goes to the right side team. Odd left, even right. Here we go. Even number eight, so it'll go to the right side team. So these are going to Niners, Saints, Eagles, Cowboys, Dolphins, Cowboys, Jaguars, Eagles, Bills, Dolphins, Broncos. 
For sure, Big Greg. I'll, I'll put a post out on Facebook at some point. And uh, get that going. So classic coffee or uh, classic clashes. Can't even talk right now. Going to the right side. Team. Now let's give uh, also the undrafted players a uh, team. Now this is going to go to uh, undrafted players with no team assignments. All right. We're going to use the checklist, and uh, we'll also use NFL.com to make sure that uh, everybody has a home. Because obviously some players went undrafted, but then they went on to sign with a team after the fact. So they're going to go to their current team. If they don't have any team associated with them at all, they're going to have a home here. All right. We've got all the teams there. We're going to random it eight times. Top team will receive any undrafted slash no team having players. Because they deserve a home too. Here we go. One. Two. Going eight times. Five. Six. Seven. And the money shot. Eight. Boom. Uh, freak of nature. No. Eight. Or maybe. Who knows? Stay tuned. So the Steelers will be receiving uh, any players that don't have a current team. Bada bing, a bada boom. And now for the recap. Let me put up my, uh, my checklist because I know I'm going to need it. Some of these players I do not know. But I'm going to save it for the, uh, for the autos. All right. Let's start off with the parallels. So, all these are numbered to 299. We got Miles Garrett Browns, Sherman Seahawks, Bates Cowboys, uh, Fournette Jaguars, Evans Bucks, Lewis Ravens, Azim Victor Rookie, Dan Marino Dolphins, Sanders Broncos, Riley Ferguson Rookie, Mark Andrews Rookie, Fred Warner Rookie, Bill Bates Cowboys, Chris Dolman Vikings, Deontay Burnett Rookie, and Wentz Eagles. These are numbered to 175. Mike Evans, uh, Bucks, Derek Carr, Raiders, John Elway, Broncos. Number to 99, we have Joe Flacco, Ravens, Jordan Thomas, rookie, the Chargers, Eras card right there, Loa Lotulele, rookie, Alan Lazard, rookie, Thurman Thomas, Bills, War Moon, Titans, Larry Allen, Cowboys. Number to 50, we got Bryce Bobo, rookie, Darius Geis, uh, rookie, and DeAndre Hopkins, Texans. Let me actually uh, put these here. Number to 65, we have James Washington, rookie. Number to 25, Jaleel Scott, rookie. Number 6 out of 10, Jason Witten, Cowboys. Number 5 out of 5, Mark Andrews, rookie. And a 101 mojo for Tony Gonzalez of the Chiefs. 101 right there. That's nice. Here come the patches. We have Dan Marino Dolphins, Jared Goff Rams, uh, Mike Singletary Bears, Thurman Thomas Bills, Von Miller Broncos. And our autographs, which I will be using the checklist for these rookies. Alrighty. So Jordan Lasley, autograph to 99. He goes to the Ravens. Demarius Thomas, 5 out of 10, Broncos. Uh, Keyshawn Biria, number to 49, goes to the Broncos. Semi Cubs Jr., number to 49, goes to the Redskins. And also going to the Redskins, number 2 out of 7, Charlie Taylor. Very nice. I noticed there was no buyback auto in this half. So that's probably in the next half. Oh, boy. And that was the break. 
2018 Classics Football, five box break number 13. Thank you, eBay. We'll get this out to you.